chapter 9 differential calculus limits and continuity x is 9.1 question 3 estimate the limit x tends to 0 root of x plus 3 minus root 3 divided by x estimate the value of the limit by using the calculator here our x takes minus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.01 minus 0 0.001 0 0.001 0 0.01 0 0.1 actually the position of this 0 is here this is a position of a 0 this is a position of a 0 that meaning is this is a leftward movement this is a rightward movement then only we can say that limit extends to 0 in leftwards and rightwards. Now calculate the value of f of x for each of these x values by using calculator. So from the table first, from the table, but our f of x is right, the solution our f of x is equal to root of x plus 3 minus root 3 divided by x. This is a f of x. So calculate f of x values for each of these x values with the help of a calculator. Here a x, a x and f of x. Our f of x is equal to root of x plus 3 minus root 3 divided by x. Our x takes minus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.01 minus 0 0.001 0 0.001. 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 0 0.1 so minus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.01 minus 0 0.001 0 point plus 0 0.001 0 0.01 and 0 0.1 0 0.1 now this f of x value for this value that is root of root of minus 0 0.1 plus 3 minus root 3 is divided by minus 0 0.1 so using calculator so calculator here one number is in minus sign other is a plus sign subtract it we get 3 minus 0 0.1 equal to 2.9 and root minus this root 3 that is root 3 is 1.732 and so on and subtract it we get minus 0 0.029 it is equal to that is equal to minus 0 0.0291 and divided by minus 0 0.1 this is divided by so 0 0.1 so minus 0 0.1 actually 0.1 that value is equal to 0 0.291 these two numbers are in minus sign the answer will be positive that is equal to 0 0.29291 therefore for x is equal to minus 0 0.1 our f of x takes 0 0.291 and for the next value minus 0 0.01 this is equal to minus 0 0.01 plus 3 is minus root 3 is divided by minus 0 0.01 so 3 minus 0 0.01 3 minus 0 0.01 is equal to 2.9 and its root is that value minus root 3 this is equal to minus 0 0.00288 is divided by minus 0 0.01 these two numbers are in minus sign the answer will surely positive 
is divided by 0 0.01 it is equal to 0 point 0 0.288 0 0.288 and next value now next value this is equal to root of minus 0 0.001 plus 3 minus root 3 is divided by minus 0 0.001 3 minus this value actually 3 minus 0 0.001 it is equal to 2.99 its root is at value minus root 3 this is equal to minus 0 0.0002 to 288 288 is divided by minus 0 0.001 if it is divided by 0 0.001 it is equal to these two are minus sign therefore the answer is positive 0 0.2887 0 0.2887 and for the next value next value our x takes 0 0.001 it is a positive number it is a root of 0 0.001 plus 3 minus root 3 is divided by 0. 001 so 3.3.001 3 3.001 root minus root 3 that is equal to 0. 0.00288 is divided by 0. 0.001 is divided by 0. 0.001 it is equal to is equal to 0 0.2886 then for the next value 0 0.01 0 0.01 plus 3 minus root 3 divided by 0 0.01 this is equal to 3.3.01 root value minus root 3 it is equal to 0 0.002884 is divided by 0 0.01 is divided by 0 0.01 the value is 0 0.288 and 4 the last value x takes 0 0.1 this is equal to 0 0.1 plus 3 minus root 3 divided by 0 0.1 this is equal to 3.1 its root and minus root 3 this is equal to 0 0.0286 divided by 0 0.1 this divided by 0 0.1 it is equal to 0 0.286 0 0.286 Therefore, f of x is calculated for all the x values. Now, look the last row. The last row, here the position of a 0. In between these two numbers, our 0 lies. This is the position of a 0. So, so see that to answer 0 0.2887. It is approximately equal to 0 0.288. See this number is 0 0.2886 is also approximately equal to 0 0.288. So, this is here from the left to right there is a leftward movement x reaches 0 here rightward movement x reaches 0 x reaches 0 therefore correspondingly here f of x reaches so our f of x our f of x reaches 0 0.288 from the leftward 
from the leftward movement that is a leftward movement so leftward movement and from the rightward movement also f of x takes 0 0.288 therefore we conclude that limit x tends to 0 minus 0 minus means leftward movement leftward approaches or leftward approaches so limit x tends to 0 minus f of x is equal to 0 0.288 also limit x tends to 0 plus 0 plus means rightward approaches so 0 plus f of x is equal to 0 0.288 0 0.288 this is number one and number two from one and two they are same 0 0.288 here also 0 0.288 so from 1 and 2 we say that from 1 and 2 we can say that limit x tends to 0 limit x tends to 0 our f of x is equal to 0 point, 0 point 0.288 so limit x tends to 0 our f of x is equal to 0 0.288 this is the answer for question number Question number 3 is the answer. This answer for question number 3. For question number 3 is over. Thank you. Thank you.